In this pattern, I'm going to use NLP in what's called an allergy pattern. And a lot of people say, how can NLP help a person to overcome allergies? Well, we're not amateur allergists. We're not curing allergies. I don't want anyone to get the impression that that's what we're trying to do. Uh, but what we can do is we can help draw a person's attention to various aspects of their awareness that can help them to, uh, to overcome the symptoms of allergy that have been so distressing. For example, we hear a lot of negative hypnotic suggestions in life. The weatherman may come on the TV and say, hey, tomorrow's going to be a really bad allergy day. Well, we go to bed with that suggestion, that negative suggestion from the, uh, from the weatherman. So when we wake up in the morning, even though we would have woken up perhaps sleeping on our face with drool on our pillow, uh, with our nostril closed off anyway, we say to ourselves, wow, my nostril's closed off. It must be the allergies. And now that I've be had my attention drawn at first by the weatherman and second by sleeping on my face to that nostril, I now am aware all day long of everything that's abnormal about that nostril rather than simply going on through my everyday life. And so in NLP, what we're trying to do is draw a person's awareness using the NLP allergy pattern uh, to a, a state of, of symptom-free um, awareness. And the reality is, uh, from a physical perspective, we can both feel good and bad at the same time. Uh, we can both be irritated by allergies or, or have allergies present, but uh, be able to, to function in a healthy manner. And, and so this pattern can, can really help a person overcome allergies. And I picked you to demonstrate this, and there's a reason why. Um, you are a person who had an allergy to cats. Right. And, and what happened? Um, I got over it. I, um, went through a, I went through an NLP process, and, and the, the uh, symptoms went away. I, I, cats don't bother me at all now. So what would happen if you held a cat or hugged a cat? Nothing. 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 But no. before... Uh, before this was true, what would happen if you hugged a cat? I would, I would uh, immediately start feeling the tickle in my nose and the back of my throat. Um, if I played with cats, I had to wash my hands really well. Um, so, and then, it, you know, um, if I had the dander on my clothes or had gotten it in my face, or if I were at somebody's house that had a lot of cat dander, it, it would start in the nose and then my, the back of my throat would start itching and pretty soon I'd be congested. And I mean, your description here is very, very real. I mean, it was really bothersome to you, but if I brought a cat yeah. in here and put it on you and said, pet the pussy, you would, uh, you'd feel great. Correct. I'm going to go through the allergy pattern now, and there are uh, several stages. The first is to imagine being exposed to an allergen. Uh, attempt to elicit the symptoms right here in the office. The second stage then is to have them anchor a symptom-free state. Now we're going to be simple here and just, you know, when you're not feeling the allergies, I'm going to have you touch those fingers together and then enhance that anger by continuing to imagine the allergy-free state, imagine the details and build a response that involves your submodalities. Uh, then uh, step four of this process is to anchor several counterexamples, referential experiences to when you've been in Kansas but you haven't had allergies, okay? or been to a new place and haven't had allergies. And then the fifth step of this is to fire uh, the dissociated anchor. We call this a dissociated anchor because we're anchoring the absence of symptoms to this experience and see what happens, okay? Mm -hmm. And of course the big test is later on tonight we're gonna send you home to Kansas and you're gonna call me and let me know whether or not you're still allergic to Kansas, or at least whether or not you've been experiencing the symptoms of being allergic to Kansas. So uh, the very first part, let's go ahead and do this with the eyes closed. Let's go ahead and close your eyes. And imagine being exposed to Kansas. Imagine that you're there in Wichita, Kansas, a place that I happen to be allergic to also. And uh, attempt to elicit the symptoms that, that bother you. In fact, right now, yeah, exactly. I saw that twitch um, in, in your lip. Uh, you might even begin to sniffle. And I want you to attempt to elicit the symptoms of being allergic to Kansas. Imagine that I'm right here next to you and I'm showing you pictures of Kansas or wheat from Kansas or even letting you smell some clothing that may have been in Kansas, like your jacket. And let me know what submodalities you're experiencing. How are you experiencing this? Allergy to Kansas. Um, somewhat visually. Okay. When you visualize the allergy to candle, uh, Kansas, what is your 
how, how do you see it? Describe that visual image. Well, I'm just using when uh, I'm just using imagery to place myself in Kansas. Okay. So a little bit of driving around and a little bit of, of at my uh, dad's house. Is there a primary color? No. In uh, your visual representation, kind of like those automobile driving video games, are you uh, in that first position actually driving the car, or are you seeing yourself driving the car? First person. Okay. Um, is it fast or is it slow? It's uh, just regular speed. Okay. Now, you're experiencing the symptoms, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you've created an elicitation of those distressing symptoms, mm -hmm. and now I want you to open your eyes. Take a mental saltine, mm -hmm. shake it off, break that state, symptom free. And uh, mm -hmm. we're not in Kansas. Right. Right. And so go ahead and close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, I want you to right now breathe in the fresh air that is not from Kansas. Uh, feel an absence of allergens from Kansas. I want you to completely disassociate from any symptoms of, of allergy. As a matter of fact, imagine right now a glass border between here and the state of Kansas uh, so that no Kansas can infiltrate us here in Oklahoma and no allergens can come from there to here. And relax completely, feeling good, being able to breathe clearly, seeing yourself driving your car without the sniffles, breathing in deeply, feeling good, energized, strong voice. And let me know when you feel a completely symptom-free state. Okay? Go ahead and anchor that symptom-free state. Touch those two fingers together and associate the symptom-free state with those fingers touching together. Now, as those fingers touch together, enhance that state. Imagine being completely allergy-free. Imagine every detail of that. The air traveling through the nostril, the throat being calm and relaxed. And build up your submodality response, seeing yourself driving in an allergy-free state. Enhance that anger. Become as allergy-free as you possibly can. And now in the fourth step of this, I want you to access a memory of having no allergies, of driving your car symptom-free. And I want you to touch those fingers together tightly. I want you to imagine yourself immune from symptoms, touching again tightly, relaxing the fingers. Again, accessing a memory of having no allergy, touching those fingers together, relaxing those fingers. Landing on the airplane in Kansas, and when you first arrived, feeling symptom-free, touching those two fingers together, anchoring that feeling of being allergy-free. And now go ahead and open your eyes. Break that state. Shake it off. Uh, and we're going to try something here. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes again, and imagine that you're driving from Oklahoma back to Kansas, up Interstate 35 later on this evening, and you're crossing through the, uh, the state line, uh, that glass border, and as soon as you do, touch those fingers together and breathe in deeply. And notice how wonderful it feels. Imagine yourself at the McDonald's on the Kansas Turnpike, touch those fingers together, feeling absolutely wonderful. And imagine yourself driving again uh, on the turnpike as you pass the Mulvane exit, touching those fingers together and being symptom-free as you are now. And I don't know if you get off at 135 or if you get off on Kellogg, but imagine touching those two fingers together at 135 or at the 50-mile marker exit and being symptom-free. Are you able to experience that state of Kansas without the state of allergy? Yes. Fantastic. Go ahead, open the eyes, feel absolutely wonderful, and ready for your journey back to your dad's house later tonight.